creo. Hey guys, my name's Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. If you're an OG subscriber, welcome back. And today I am going to be covering anxiety, binge eating, and how I am trying to overcome it. I have spoken about binge eating and anxiety before on my channel, but I've never gone into how I am trying to professionally overcome these problems. A couple of months ago, I had a really bad bout of anxiety. It was quite severe. I found it difficult to get up in the morning. I found it difficult to get motivated. Every little thing was overwhelming me. I felt extremely stressed and emotional. I just felt like everything was coming in on top of me that I could do nothing right and to be honest I hit a wall. This has been happening to me for a very long time. I've tried to overcome it myself through exercise, through diet, through meditation, sleeping, changing my vitamin and mineral intake but it always seems to revert back to the same thing. I seem to be going in a circle where I feel better for a certain amount of time and then I go back to where I came from, feeling anxious, feeling stressed, and then eventually binge eating, which is kind of where it peaks and I get really upset and really frustrated with myself. So now I decided to do something different to try and help me with these issues. I want to get to the source of what's causing the anxiety and leading to the binge eating. One thing I want to stress is that I am not trying to fix myself because in saying I want to fix myself is insinuating I am in some way broken. I am not broken, I have just some issues that I need to deal with. Some of these issues go back years and years into my childhood, others are more recent. So how have I decided to overcome and deal with my problems? Six weeks ago, I decided to try hypnotherapy. I didn't want to go into too much detail about the hypnotherapy prior to this because I wanted to try it, see how it worked, see if I liked it and if I could recommend it to you guys. A lot of people, when they think of hypnotherapy, think of, you know, barking on command, doing silly things on stage. Realistically, hypnotherapy is where you are counseled, but in a very relaxed state, so it actually brings out your unconscious mind. So every day we live day to day through our conscious mind. We make conscious decisions, we have conscious thoughts, we have conscious feelings, but underneath that are all the thoughts and feelings and emotions which you have encountered throughout your entire life and they make up your unconscious mind. So a lot of things you may not actually consciously remember, but they're still there and they've still been absorbed into your mind. A lot of things that may have happened to you in the past, you may have maybe blanked out for some reason or slightly forgotten, but they're still there in your unconscious mind. So when I go into a hypnotherapy session, they last for about two hours. I go in and I speak with my counselor and we just speak about generally what's been going on in my the last week, two weeks, and then we gradually get me into a more relaxed state where I sit back, I close my eyes, there's breathing exercises. To be honest, each time I go in, I don't have a plan of action. I don't have a topic which I want to cover. I just go in and relax and let my unconscious mind take over. We usually speak about what issues I want to deal with, whether it's anxiety, binge eating. Um, I used to get panic attacks and see where these have come from and what triggers them. My life growing up was a regular, happy Irish upbringing in the countryside. But like most people, I've been through tough times, sad times, and these are the things that have impacted on me now and I suppose affect me unconsciously and make me feel stressed and can affect my day-to-day -day living. When I was 12, my older sister died tragically in a car accident. Now, I'm not gonna go into the details of why or how this has impacted me but obviously this is one of the major events in my life that has impacted on me and would contribute to how I feel now and how I suppose I react to certain situations. In going to hypnotherapy it brought me back to my 12 year old self, it brought me back into those uncomfortable moments and 
you do have to deal with uncomfortable emotions. It's when you deal with these emotions that you bury deep inside that you actually can overcome them and overcome I suppose what may be causing you to be anxious or stressed or binge eat. Another event in my life was when I was 24, my parents separated and that had a huge impact on me, I suppose, as an adult and how I deal with situations now. I definitely have found the benefit from hypnotherapy. I feel a lot calmer. I definitely haven't been feeling extremely stressed in the last six weeks. I have had episodes of binge eating, but when I've gone in the last time, I spoke to my counsellor about this and we addressed the binge eating again and we went through it more thoroughly and it brought me back to a time when I was 21 and a very close cousin of mine passed away and this may have had issues with me and food. A lot of these sad events can actually prevent you from being happy. They can actually impede your progression in life because it's holding you back from being happy because of this loss. If you feel like you are very stressed, you are having a lot of anxiety and panic attacks, you suffer from binge eating, it is important to get to the root of the problem. Yes, there will be triggers in daily life, which if you address, you can overcome and try and stop yourself from binge eating but it's more important for you for your future and for your mental health to address the deep seated reasons why you are suffering in this way you are not broken you do not need to be fixed this is completely normal people go through huge events in their life. Maybe it's something smaller that has impacted on you now, but a lot of these things are in our subconscious and need to be dealt with so that you can feel happier and balanced. The main reason I have gone to hypnotherapy is because I am getting married this year. Finally, I'm at a place where everything is going as I want it to. I'm ticking all those life boxes. I found the man of my dreams. I'm getting married. We're gonna start a family but I still felt anxious, I still felt stressed, and I was like, why am I feeling this way? So for me to have a healthy, balanced future with Lex, I felt like I needed to resolve some of my issues, and that is why I said I would try hypnotherapy. I definitely would recommend hypnotherapy. I definitely would say look up a hypnotherapist in your local area. It is definitely worthwhile. It's better than going to your GP and being given antidepressants which just literally dampen down your feelings and level you out. You want to get to the root of the problem. I just wanted to fill you guys in on why my uploads have been less frequent. This is because I never want to put up videos which I feel are half-hearted and I am not in a good place. I want to be able to provide quality content for you guys and until I am mentally 100%, I don't think I can do that. Moving forward, I definitely feel a lot more balanced now. I feel a lot more content and I definitely will be able to produce a lot more quality content for my channel and for you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. I know it's just short. I just wanted to take you through what I've been doing to try and help with my anxiety and my binge eating. If you have any questions about hypnotherapy, binge eating, anxiety, hit me up down below. I'm no expert on the subject, but I can point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Talk about the people that we used to be If I had a hundred fans Buying all the parents Ain't nobody paying I'd be buying the drinks And we would party And we would dance And we would throw up our damn hands Until they turned to crowd Yeah, I got you now If I only had a hundred fans Life's too short to be an asshole